What's going on? It's Casey from casey-sounds.com. Today's video, I want to talk to you about how to use your Instagram to get more listeners on the music and the stuff that you'd be creating. So, if you're new to my channel, my name is Casey. I'm a producer, beat maker, and engineer for over 10 years. And I upload videos on how to make beats, how to mix your music, and how to use Logic Pro. Sometimes throwing little videos of self help or how to grow your brand. In today's video, I'm just going to share some tips that I've been using for Instagram to grow my following. So, first of all, consistency. You've got to be consistent. Like for me, I, before, I was posting like every three to four days, sometimes five days, and I didn't really see much difference, much growth in my, my following or engagement. But then I switched it up and started to post every two to three days. I know it's a big difference in engagement and followers. And also people are asking about, inquiring about beats and mixing and stuff that I do, which is the main reason why I'm on Instagram. Yeah, to build my brand. So what you need to do is start posting more consistently. But you don't have to post every two to three days. It comes down to self-awareness. If you feel like you want to post every two to three days, then do that. If you want to post every day, do that. Some, some of the pages that I follow, they post like four or five times a day. And I see, I've seen a, a difference in their engagement and their followers, which is probably something that they're, they're aiming for. So you've got to have a goal, obviously. If it's just instant gratification that you're looking for, like 50 likes or 100 likes for your post, just for today, then you do that. But if you've got a bigger picture and you're trying to build your brand and reach people organically, then there's ways of doing it. And this is what I'm showing you. So the next thing you need to be doing is posting good content, consistent content. Like people don't want, you don't want new people to go into your wall and see your wall it's, and it's just, a, it's a bit, bit mismatched like you, you don't know what's going on one minute you're, you're eating food next thing your your dog's on there or your cat or your pet whatever pet you got and then you're in the studio I just think you need to be a bit more consistent consistent with it but at the same time if that's what works for you then just crack on and do that for me what I've been doing is posting like the finished product on my actual wall and then using IG stories to show behind the scenes so like I'll be in the studio making beats or just uh, I, I'll post me editing files that I've been given to mix because I know if I put that onto my wall it's going to be a bit boring for some people and it's not going to really get the engagement that I'm looking for so I'd rather just put that in in my stories like me going to the gym or me with the family going out or something like that so that's what you can use your stories for you don't have to have everything on your wall um, so that's consistency being consistent and posting good content Another thing that I've been doing is commenting on a lot more people's work. So rappers, I see them doing their thing, or beat maker going there, listen to what they're doing, leave a genuine con comment, hit the like, and that that helps to build a rapport with that person. Do you know what I'm saying? So they they seen that you've commented on their stuff, and they probably comment on your stuff, or they might like some of your stuff. They follow you, you follow back, you follow them, they follow back, whatever, um, and that way you're building like an organic following you know what i'm saying and next time you post they're more than likely to to see that post and, and be like oh yeah that's so and so let me just hit them up and hit put a like on their on their uh on their post and instagram loves to see that you when you post they love to see that in the first hour that there's been a lot of engagement because i've been hearing they're only showing like 10 percent of the people that who follow uh, your post so <clears throat> If you're getting like a high engagement, they're probably just gonna show like a few more people. And that way you get more reach. You might even end up on the explore page. It's doable um, if that's what you want. That will help to grow your following. That will help you to boost your brand awareness. Another thing that I've been doing is using hashtags. I still use hashtags. Some people don't wanna use hashtags. Some people think it's corny. I still use hashtags because at the end of the day, if someone looking for beats or I put hashtag beat maker or send beats and someone puts that in the search bar um, I'll come up or you come up so there's nothing wrong with hashtags just still use them take advantage man take advantage but I, I don't know if there's a cap on how many you should use that's something that you're gonna have to experiment with um, I normally use between 5 and 15 sometimes 20 and it seems to be working for me so what you need to do is experiment see what hashtags work for you what's not working for you I like to put them in my comments still and some people like to use dot 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 
and then hashtags in the caption because they feel like it's going to get more reach. I don't know if that's true. But like I said, experiment and see what works for you. And also, with your posting, you need to kind of work out what, what's the best times to post. So for me, I like to post in the mornings. Uh, seem to be getting more engagement that way. So Instagram can bump me up to, to let other people see it that way. Like I keep saying, you can build brand awareness and have more people on and eyes on my business because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm just trying, what I'm trying to do is reach music artists to work with and help beat makers with using Logic and making beats and mixing and stuff. So we just find out what's the best times for you to post. Experiment with it, post in the morning, post in the evening, maybe lunchtime or nighttime when everyone's back home from work or whatever, then you can hit them with a post. Just to recap, be consistent, post, post often, post frequently, post good content on your wall, use your IG stories to show the behind the scenes of what you've been working on. And as well, use put, drop hashtags into your IG stories, that works. Locations and all that. Build a good rapport with people by commenting and liking on their work and hashtags as well. Find out what hashtags are working for you. That should help you to grow your Instagram and gain, get more listeners and ears on your music or whatever it is you're creating because at the end of the day that's what you're trying to do you don't you don't want a whole heap of music on your hard drive just sitting there or you just got your family and friends listening to it because you're creative you're talented you need to be, you need people you need a world to hear what you're creating you need to share it stop being so selfish i'm joking <laughs> no but seriously get your work out there and keep pushing hope this video has helped if it has hit that like and subscribe button i really appreciate that hit me up on instagram i'm always posting behind the scenes stories of what i've been up to uh, logic tips and tricks that i don't always post on youtube so hit me up on instagram as per usual thank you for your time thank you for watching music is life peace